Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? Dave here with some more Majora's Mask. More Mora's Mask. Fun, fun. So, <laughs> I don't know guys. So, as you can see on the second day, it rains in Clock Town. Again, awesome stuff. They have this three-day cycle and they make each day so different. This one's got a lightning storm. It's the world crying, mourning its own demise. I don't know. I, I really don't want to get that into it. I'm sure later on I will though. For now, we're going to play the Deck is Scrub game again. By the way, if you want to keep following this playthrough, do subscribe and smack the bell notification icon. That will keep you completely up to date with everything that I'm doing. Even if this game isn't your cup of tea, you'll know when we got you know, more ga cool gaming stuff coming afterwards. And I'm curious. I've been gushing about this game. Guys, comment below. What is your favorite Zelda game? I'm really, really curious because all the Zelda games seem to be different things for different people. Because it's one of those universes that has a very interesting way of touching people. Oh no, oh no, I don't like- th Oh, thank god! I wasn't timing that well at all. So, I believe, yes, excellent. So, here we are on day two, come on! Oh, that was close, oh my gosh. But yeah, Zelda, it seems to like mean different things to different people, so I'm curious what it means to you. <laughs> and I think a, a good indication of what it means to you is exactly what Zelda game is your favorite and why. Like I know a lot of people who it's always going to be Ocarina because that's it's the big epic story you know it's it's like the Lord of the Rings of video games if you ask me. Like games like Ocarina, like Twilight Princess, like those to me are like the Lord of the Rings of video games. Because they're very epic in scope, they have these crazy themes, and they're very much built off the Hero's Journey arc, which every freaking story is. I thought about actually doing a video series basing the different video games and how they approach the Joseph Campbell's, the stages of the Hero's Journey. I thought that would be a really cool idea, but I'm not sure if I'll do that. It'll take a lot of research and stuff, so we got another 50 rupee for that, so that's awesome. I'll put that in the bank, literally. And that's all I think we can do. Like, the Deku Scrub game is the only thing I can think of. For now, we can hop back to mm, the other side of Clock Town. I forget. South? Yeah, South Clock Town. And we can... Oh, that owl's going to be important in a second. But in a second, I mean much later. There's a postman doing his thing. We approach this flower. This guy's gonna be like, yo, don't, yo, don't, that mine, you, no. And he's gonna be like, this is my private property, don't try using it when I'm a rut. Alright, yeah, whatever. Translation, you, don't. <laughs> and I sold out of my wares and the carnival hasn't begun, I'm thinking of closing, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you one, I'll get you one. Moon's Tear, you want one of those? Cool, in fact, a bang, oh, sorry, a bang, a uh, bang, and a bang. Fla flash it! Ah, that's stone, you must hand it over to me! In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. Wow, I wish real estate was this easy, guys. We have traded the Moon's Tear for a land title. Wow, look at his face. He is, he is ready. He is, he is definitely ready. You have really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my life. Now she hasn't set eyes on jewels, straight, sparkling, soul like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be in high demand among Deku Scrubs, but you already know that. You don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. Yes, you can actually trade the deeds. And that's gonna be for its own heart piece later on. But now, effectively, if you don't get the moons tier by the third night, he's not gonna let you use his spot. You can tell him all about like how you're gonna save the world, yeah. No. <laughs> He's gonna be like, you don't. And it's gonna suck. Now, I'm thinking, oh, toilet! So if you talk to this guy, I think he'll do the same thing that other Scarecrow will do. If you like, we can dance until night, yes. Okay, now it's night time. Yeah. And he's gonna be like, yeah, we can dance till that. No, please. Sir, you're gonna end the world if you just dance with me. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, I know the mysterious songs. Let's get out of here. And so, ah, oh, lovely night time. Oh, yeah, let's deposit while we're, while we're here. 60 seems pretty good for right now. That'll give us at least some space to take another 50 in case that comes our way. 
And so, let's go. We're gonna access a different part of town. Or not really, I mean, we've been to West Clock Town before. However, we're gonna do something just, just a little, a little different. We're gonna break into the inn. <laughs> break in. It's a break in! And the Stockpot Inn is closed. If you try to access it now, it'll be locked. However, if you're awesome and have magical flower powers, you can just come in, and for some reason they do not lock the top door, which is really bad. There's some agile thieves in the world. And, haha, -ha, I've broken in. Ha ha! And if you go and say, hey, where are you, bud? Hey, Anju. Oh, what a cute guest. Do you have a reservation? Where's your mother? Dang it! I'm a grown man! Totally booked with Yeah, it's cool because he... Link, he's, he's been a child. He's been deprived of his childhood, been forced to be an adult, do awesome things. And then he got sent back to being a child again. And now it's like... Now he's being treated like an even weird... Like, so he got used to being treated like an adult, and now he's like being treated by, like, something else. It, it's so weird. Bother, bother, I'm busy. Is the inn not closed right now? I think the inn is closed. Isn't it? Oh, wow, it's still open? That's so funny. It is 8.30, the stockpile inn will not be lo <laughs> It was open for, like, another second. Okay. So now. Now. It's closed. They lock that front door. But they do not lock this. Haha. -ha. Now I've broken in, and now I'm gonna go down the stairs like I did exactly the same way I did it before. It's past 9 o'clock, and I think that means... Darn! At least time's moving pretty quickly. Maybe it's 10 o'clock? No? Remember, you're a Deku, so why don't you try using this Deku... What Deku flower? What Deku flower? You're telling me there's a flower in the toilet? Tattle. Tattle, we need to talk. Maybe at 11 o'clock? No? It's gotta be 12, when the clock strikes midnight. Hey! Hey! Put the paper, please! Uh, here you go. Yay! I love that voice. Oh, you saved me. I don't even. Oh, lovely. This fell down here. I give it to you. Oh my god. Who dropped their heart down the toilet? Uh, someone must have gone through a really bad breakup and the metaphor became reality. So... Who's in here? Can I say hi to anyone? Kitchen? Can I make a nuisance of myself? A nuisance? Can I go? Let's listen to doors. Let's let's see. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can barge in on people. It says employees only, no admins. Okay, not that one. How about this one? Sneak into other people's rooms. You're the worst. Yeah, I know. But I mean, I don't. I don't apologize. Hey. Oh, it's my favorite punsters. All right. Let's see. What do you guys got? Did you meet the Rose, our sisters, our fellow performers from the troupe? Well, they're twins, too. They're twins just like us. Can you believe it? I think they're practicing. Yes, they are. Two sets of twins traveling in Gorman's troop of Ener. Blah, blah, blah. I'd say the chances. Blah, blah, blah. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. What's the Skull Kid doing all the way up there? Oh, whatever. Aren't you least interested in that thing that. Tattle, you are so behind. You are so behind. Girl. Girl, we gotta talk. I love the way he opens the door. Oh, you're looking a little bigger there, Mr. Sir. We We There we go. So yeah, the big reason I was waiting for this to happen is because A, I didn't get to show you how awesome it is when the screen gets smaller and it looks really terrifying. However, the other thing is bang! It's dawn of the final day, which means it's our final day to get this playground out of the way. Because I'm at bay. I don't know. <laughs> I, it was going. It had a good roll, and now it's now it's, now it's been lost. So, we'll do one more. We might be a little... Uh, what's the word? We might be a little over time for this episode, but I would like to get this out of the way. 
because the third day is where like stuff's really gonna happen and I want that to be its own episode. So for now, let's just play. Let's play our rupee game. And so it gets a, it gets a lot harder now. As you, as you saw, the last round had only horizontal pieces. And now we've got horizontal and vertical pieces. F! Now let's do this. Let's do this. So you gotta predict a little bit more. Oh my god, that was way too close. You gotta predict things a little bit more. So now, as you can see, before I was making it really close. Now I'm actually overshooting it. So you gotta like... You gotta negate it when you think you're gonna fall. And then it'll come in and swoop in for you. Except for these, because they're staying in one spot. So now I'm gonna just work my way in. Let's do this. And for this one, I believe you can just kind of stay put, right? Yeah. Oh, that was close. And then this last one will be right over here. Yeah, it's pretty easy as long as you're patient and take your time. And you're not in any trouble, so there's no reason not to take your time. Because then you end up like me in that last run. A new record, and for three days straight? Oh, you're obviously blah blah blah. Hey, and there we go. Piece of heart. Wow, he looks psyched out right now. Such a youthful face, but we were really dealing with a fierce competitor. Ah, it's Dave. Hi. <laughs> oh, come on. You guys are such carnies. What happens if I leave and come back? Wow. Wow, I broke them. I've, t I've destroyed their business and ripped their hearts out. Literally, they gave me a heart. Hey, and the world is green. <laughs> Check this out, yeah, and I love that. Like, now you really get the apocalyptic feeling. Let's see how big Moon Magoober face is. Hey, what's up, dude? Oh, you're looking pretty big. There. He is eclipsing the sun right now. I am scared. I am very scared. I am very, very, very scared. I wonder if I can buy Tingle's map right now. Let me just farm a little bit. Give me this. Yeah, we... I don't know if it's 20. I have a feeling it's a lot more than 20. Let's find out. Come on. Sir! Okay. <laughs> and so, yeah, let's just get this out of the way. Oh, yeah, and the music. I didn't even mention the music. It's awesome. Okay, yeah, Tingle's got some problems, by the way. You, you guys probably know all about him. So, what do you got? What do you got? Hey, five rupees. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, there we go. You don't really need the maps, but it's helpful. It's handy. Okay, Kulimpa. Awesome. Now that we have done that, we can end this episode finally. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, a thumbs up in the box below, and do subscribe to stay tuned for the next episode. Hit that bell notification ringer, and you'll be able to say, this dog maul me. In the next episode, of course. For now, though, this is Dave out. Peace out.